Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, we're going to take a look at some Drop Zone Commander models today. These are Shaltari, an advanced alien species. They are about four feet tall and covered in translucent spines. And uh, these models are awesome. These are the flyers, a few walkers. In fact, uh, let me get a dice to uh, give you as a comparison here. Okay, how about an Empire hand gunner instead? So that's about the size of these guys. Uh, these are called War Striders. This is the Coyote, and this is a command vehicle. So like the general rides in a vehicle in this game. He's not out on foot. That's really not very realistic. Uh, this is magnetized on. So uh, in the game, if this gets blown up, this command module actually ejects off and lands nearby and can continue in play. This is an Ocelot War Strider, which has the most amazing gun in the game that can, a trio of these guys can take down buildings reliably in a turn. And uh, that is extremely powerful as a strategy. Uh, this is a mixed Strider. It has anti-air and also um, <clears throat> some Goss weapons. So uh, fairly effective. This is a fast moving flyer called a war spear. And uh, fast movers in this game, these uh, actually do an attack run. So let's say this were the table. You choose a point on the side and then you'd go all the way across. So the model theoretically doesn't even stay on the board. Uh, but uh, as part of kind of this mini game of these attack runs, it starts its attack run, engages at a certain point, and then other models such as uh, these Thunderbirds can come in and do what's called an intercept uh, run, if I remember my terminology uh, correctly, and they basically can cross paths and make a single attack. And um, so it's, it's very complicated. Anti-air could also shoot. So the angle that you do these attack runs at is very, very crucial. And you can also, if you're willing to risk it, uh, do a run that's, quote, on the deck, which means you maintain a, a distance of two inches off of uh, the table. So you can use intervening terrain to uh, cover you. Uh, these are Shaltari gates. Uh, we have a Gaia heavy gate here. This is the largest model each race has a centerpiece model. I get, let's get our uh, 20, uh, 28 millimeter model next to that. So that's about how big that is. And uh, this is an Eden medium gate. And these are uh, spirit light gates. And these actually transport troops and they're extremely fast. So uh, by the way, the gates are how the Shaltari uh, teleport their units onto the battlefield. So anyway, uh, just a word about the color scheme here. It's my old favorite. It's a dark turquoise. It's been deepened um, <clears throat> with some black. In fact, on these glowy parts, uh, I deepened it entirely with black first. And uh, then I went on with a uh, park green, foul green precisely, in, um, in Vallejo and then uh, I worked it all the way up to white. So uh, when you want to contrast, you have to make sure that it's next to a very dark color. And uh, then I have this uh, sky blue for the cockpits. So anyway, uh, this is uh, the Shaltari. I still have to do the tanks and infantry, uh, but this is uh, about, uh, let's see, uh, 12 tanks and eight infantry stands will bring this to a 1500 point army. And uh, by the way, this is magnetized on too. Isn't that a nice feature? So uh, yeah, Shaltari are awesome. And Drop Zone Commander is definitely one of the up and coming games to keep your eyes, uh, eyes on. Uh, thanks for tuning in, folks.